Ah. And I oh, haven't done my starboard yet. Oh, oh no! Panic! It's actually only the only one that changed the Z Nation. What are they, where are they from again? Russia. Oh, don't ask me, please. Um, I, I'm not too sure. Z Nation, are aren't they? Germany. No, no, I think they're Russian. Who is playing with them? No, Z Nation could be. Oh, they're Russian. Yeah, they are. The Russian flag yeah. shows up. Good, good. I did get my my guess wrong. And they're one of those like little underdog teams that keeps doing pretty well recently. They uh, they've been having pretty good results, I would say. Yeah. And um, well, Kada obviously have really good results in Ghost League, and I know many many of these players really well. Bonsaya, Pinoy, and um, Walleater are all old rivals to me since like two years back. So they were always the rival team to my team. It's always, uh, you know, it's it's the Swedish. Yeah, <laughs> it's the Swedish thing. Yeah, every every have... Swedish player knows every Swedish player. It's it's a fact. Oh. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It's really convenient. We've used Bonsai as a stand-in, Pinoy as a stand-in, and Quicks as a stand-in at different occasions. <laughs> so they should really know how to counter us. They <laughs> they should know how we play now. Um, every tactic. Yeah. No, we try to always do the same thing when we play with them. <laughs> I like this really weird picks from oh okay they're gonna put just lich and uh, anti mage on whatever lane they want it against the most i believe bottom well, lane quick is there too though yeah bottom lane would be awesome then you just yeah quicks is gonna run away he's just i don't know why he's here go away quicks um he's gonna go top with pinoy and uh Pino is oh, yeah. uh, really, really. Uh, Pino is really close friend with uh, Fishbone, who is a player in our team. They used yeah. to play together for a long time. I just uh, uh, realized, by the way, Nika is able to play as Invoker, and they actually have managed to get the Sand King Lishrak Invoker set up. They do have exactly the kind of picks that they always want. Yes. <laughs> uh, so I expect this game to be in uh, Kada's favor because when you give them what they like to play, they. They usually perform really well. Yeah. Um, that said, C Nation could surprise me, but I really they do doubt have that a they can. I really doubt they can do too much against this, though. The push is gonna come for the Dire team on top lane, and farm is gonna come for Wall Eater on bottom lane. Not that much. It's not free farm because he's on off lane, and pulls are gonna go down, etc. Yeah. Uh, a Tide Hunter solo against uh, Invoker is not the easiest lane. I want to point out. Nope. That's that's a tough one. That is a tough one. He does pack his uh, anchor smash first to maybe get some extra last hits, but that will be very uh, painful for him. As he, he gets oh. some good hits, but yeah. He, oh, top lane. Oh, what the hell? We already missed first blood. Brute mother going down. Was yeah, there actually a, was there a sound strike? Uh, I don't no, believe no. he sound struck top. No. No. Okay. He uh, didn't even have it invoked at that time. Okay. Bottom lane, we see a bit of a trade. Wallader just... I don't know. He doesn't even have mana break. He just runs up and hits Crystal Maiden once. He wants to show that he doesn't like her either. So, oh. Getting getting some farm now that Creep Wave is coming in, but no Killing Blade. So these last hits, last hits can be uh, a bit annoying under the tower range. But Wallader okay. is known for playing really good carry. So. True. And we haven't really gone over who's playing what and, and what's playing plate. And since there hasn't been bans or picks that we've seen, which pr probably <laughs> is a smart I idea. I go over the Swedish team. Yeah, sure, go ahead. But we do have Wall Eater playing carry and mage this time. Really? And Bonsaya always oh, supporting, gonna play the Lich. Mid lane, we see Nikwa got his invoker. He really likes this hero. Top lane, we see Pinoy playing Sanking and uh, Quicks playing Leshrac. So everyone basically on the heroes that they love. Yeah. Top in wow. Good nice check, check ball indeed. Windrunner will be able to get out. So for Z Nation, we have uh, Tisha Bud on uh, the Windrunner. We have Alba on the Crystal Main, supporting the Windrunner in her farm and maybe uh, try to harass uh, a little bit at least uh, with her Nova, trying to deny as much as she can. In the middle lane, we have. Uh, yeah, yeah Asian, Asian leather guy. <laughs> Asian leather guy. Yeah. I, I saw him yesterday too. Called him Asian leather guy. Worked out fine. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Asian leather guy on the tight hunter. Yeah. But he's getting farm actually. He has nine last hits, so he's uh, not that far behind from Invoker. No, but and uh, he got a bottle. Haste yeah, rune. the bottle with a haste rune. He's doing pretty okay. Surprisingly okay in this mid lane. He's looking pretty comfortable. Yeah. Indeed. It's gonna get harder with the high extra. That's true. 
And we forgot one player. Yep, we forgot one player. We have Tito still on the top lane on his Broodmother who gave away first blood. As there is a ward already there and there's gonna be a burst strike on him soon too. Oh, misses. Oh, that was the perfect setup. No, he doesn't get hit by the thing. <laughs> if the burst strike hit it, the sand strike, sun strike would have hit. That would have been a stun from the Shrek also. Yeah, but it and happened. that's that's a level one sandstorm. Uh, not sand, yeah, sandstorm as well, but burst strike. So it's not too easy to land against the Broodmother who is so quick. That's hard to do. Yeah. I just uh, realized that I forgot to turn my sound off. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I just realized because my sister tried to call me a couple times. Oh. Oh, and Dave. Yeah, Wally they're just running around in the woods. He's kind of annoyed with not having creeps at the tower. So, but Sire gonna deny creep, and uh, they're back at the tower pretty soon. In just 20, 30 seconds, gonna farm on the tower. Yeah, the power of uh, of the lich just making sure that the creeps are always in their course. <sighs> Who gets the wildkin? Brute gets the wildkin. Happy brute. She has boots first item. This is a, not first item, but like the four emo ring. Yeah, and that's kind of cool to see. Um, cool or worrying? Because now she's not able to spam out the uh, spawn spider. Yeah, yeah, it, it is cool though. I want to say cool because okay. Sanke can never land his stun on this Brookman. It's just not gonna work until he has like level five at least. It, it's gonna be near impossible, and she's getting levels. We have a gank on, uh, wow. on on Nika with the Fury and TPing in, but not being able to do anything anymore. Gets Regeneration. a wrath in return by Invoker. Yeah, but uh, and look at this tide. He's so farmed. He has boots, he has bottle, and he has level five. He's kind of—he can even kill Invoker as soon as he hits level six. He's gonna kill Invoker if uh, Invoker is not regenerating up before that. He does have consume pearls. I think this is the first time I see it tied onto the middle, actually. Mm, it's the first time in a long time that I see it. Uh, usually, you put it again, like solo against a brute or something. But after uh, EG against Mouse, I was watching that game. Um, I do not recommend uh, doing so without. Uh, some concern. The um, fear was just destroying a tide hunter with his uh, brute. So, um, tide hunter actually had zero six zero, and they forfeited the Ouch. game. Minute fourteen. It was a brutal, brutal game. It does sound like it was. Wow, fourteen minutes. Yeah. Fourteen minutes forfeit. Yeah, I believe it was sixteen for two in kills. So, EG showing off. They played really good. <laughs> we actually we, sc we screamed against them right before that game, and uh, right. they actually won against us as well. Sadly, you should have said that you w you won against that. Yeah, you know? won easily. Don't don't know how Mouse can lose to this this low bob <laughs> team of EG. I don't know. Oh, was that the game today? What? Uh huh? Yeah, it was oh, today. I know it, it was a song. Ah. Yeah, it was casted by Gods. Yeah. Oh, gods and uh, Snoopy from Absolute Legends. And then I heard Snoopy. No, he caught it with um, other people too, with Draskal and stuff. Yeah, yeah, but it's the first time I heard okay. Snoopy. Anyway, I missed him in other cast, so okay. just surprising. I'm, I've talked pretty much with this guy, so kind of, I don't know. Oh, just hello. funny to hear it in voice, man. Bye, top tower. tower. Yeah, bye, bye. Yeah. Nothing Cedar can do there. And that's what I'm saying, like, this game is gonna be hard for the Radiant team, because look at Wall Eater on bottom lane, like, he's going for a slow farm kind of build on Antimage, he's going for a Vanguard possibly, before even going Battle Fury, but he's gonna get his farm eventually, and they're getting towers on other lanes, and wow, tight mid, wow. Ravage used, used <laughs> all of his HP and mana. Yeah, there was still a stun strike too, but yeah, he got the yeah, kill. Yeah, it, it was the support from uh, Furion coming yeah. in there, helping out, and he has level 6 now. So that's, that's a little bit of global present now coming in for the, uh, the Radiant team. That could help out preventing the push on top and preventing the AM from getting complete free farm down here. Yeah, but he uh, has to come up out of the jungle more than he is now, and he's going for uh, for Nature's Call build, uh, leaving his TP at level one, so we won't be able to do that all that uh, often. They they need to take towers. That's the reason they have. Yeah, should true. have brood top, but she had a kind of hard game. It's gonna take some time before she can bring down towers, uh, especially going for a poor man's shield before emo ring. <laughs> um, Maybe he's forgetting about that one. Yeah, I don't know. Poor man's shield is good, so. But emo ring, man, emo ring. You want that emo ring, so you want to be able to spawn to spam the spawn spider. Lane. lane just setting up for a kill, and Tide has no ulti, so this can be hard. Invoker still taking a lot of damage. Edith going through. Tide onto taking a stun, 
And we'll probably go down here if he doesn't move away from this shoe soon. He uses his stick charges to stay alive. Bottle is there yeah. too in the meantime. Prophet finishing off the invoker and chasing down the Lushrak, who's uh, level 6 now too. They and, might uh, smoke well, after him, but nah. They're not gonna do it. No. Smoke does give a little bit of move speed, so sometimes in these scenarios we see a team just smoking after a guy running away. Yeah. Uh, it sometimes works, sometimes doesn't, but in general it's a waste of smoke. So I'm pretty content that they did not do it. Um, Sanking has picked up his mana boots now though, so he can stand fairly well against Brute, even though he's under-leveled compared to her. He's been r running around a bit. Yeah, running around a lot. Doesn't have yeah. epicenter yet. He's uh, is, is only just level 5 also, I mean not close to 6 at all. Yeah. So uh, he's given the farm to Leshrac, they uh, opted to go for a strong Leshrac instead, um, but he's not that farmed, that's the, the issue, he also only has mana boots and he's very squishy, he can't fight that much right now. Well, the only difference is uh, the Ring of Bacillus, yeah. but yeah. Nobody wins. yeah, and he buys the dust, so yeah, he's, he's not full farming either, and the farm isn't that big on the Antimage. Sure, he's getting some farm, but he only has 36 last hits at minute 9, which is what you will have a minute 5 in free farm mode. Ooh, tight answer. Gonna probably take a fall here to Nika. Sunstrike's gonna hit. Uh, Dalton hit, actually. Oh, nice, oh, nice juking, but there's the Ravage and tight answer. Whoa, you will be able to kill off all night. You're probably taking the last hit. Nice yeah. kill. Oh, Nika yeah. so thought that he, she, he had that, but no kill for him. In the meantime, uh, Sand, or sorry, Broodmother does get killed off by a Sandkin and Lushrak. Lushrak taking the last hit. Yeah, that's being huge. Um, but yeah, that's uh, Tide proving to be a rather hard opponent in mid lane. Look at his maximum HP with uh, only Magic Wand to boost his HP, as well as one Iron One K, what? Yeah, it's really high, because he has pretty high level already. He's level 8, so. And uh, he's one of those heroes that gets a lot of strength per per level up. So yeah, he's actually it. level eight, and Nature's Prophet level nine. Well, no, well, only Lishrak is level eight on the dire side, and actually just got level eight. It's halfway to level nine, so he's big this time. Under. And he's going for a headdress, so could even be going for a mecha, but I expect him to go uh, early pipe. Yeah, just to get the all these nukes. You, they really need an early pipe. Yeah, so and much damage coming out, and it will also stop the Chains Frost, even though Lich is not level 6 yet, he will be go having it soon, so... Uh, just to make yeah. sure that they, they counter that team fight as early as possible. I want to point out that there is a uh, pretty good... Um, I want to say, pretty good game for the Furin as well. He's looking for two kills and one assist, and good last hits in the woods, uh, and with that Midas, he can farm pretty quickly. So he has his ulti. Now they want to set up for a new kill. That's how it works. As soon as it's off cooldown, you want to set up some kill. And uh, Tidon is looking at top, but yeah, smoked up, uh, smoked yes, up, caught out. Mast on bottom lane. They want to kill uh, Windrunner and see him. Oh, wall eater. Juking he's, in the forest. He's quelling blading, but what? Uh, nice blink. Yeah. They Going for the Windrunner shackle shot. Ledges. Yeah, not surprising. <laughs> no, they were just standing in. For that one. Sanking so alone. Tidehunter is gonna chase it, doesn't have a Ravage though. This is overcommitting by Chaos. Oh, they just Prophet, what are you doing there? We'll go down here to the la last hit of. Uh, will he go down here? Yeah, there we go. Burst Strike uh, finishes the job, and then Antimage is gonna take the fall here too, or is not gonna take the fall. Epicenter is there, killing off the Windrunner. And uh, Antimage is actually gonna be staying alive. As Sand King is on the way out, buyback from Nature's Prophet happens. TP is back instantly to get the kill on the Antimage. Uh, we'll actually be able to do this. Sun Strike is gonna be there to help out somewhere. Gets a kill on the Crystal Maiden. Double kill for him, also killing off the Tidehunter. And the Tide Yeah, Tidehunter was just a little bit like one second off cooldown from his ultimate. Oh. So he could just, if he just had one more second alive, then he would get his ulti out. And that would, of course, spell a few kills. Yeah. At least one kill, and uh, Brute Mother pressuring top a little bit, but instantly backs out as Leshrac TPs. I think he should have put in some pressure on this Leshrac. It's 700 HP Lesh. You want to kill that? You are Brute. You are master of this. He lane. is a level higher also, and he now actually has a Soul Ring, so he can spam out spawn, spawn finally if he wants to. Yeah, he could even just send a few Spiderlings on him. It's gonna cost him the stun to uh, get rid of those, because he has no level in lightning, so... And when the stun is down, you can even go in and just right-click him with ulti, etc. You, you set up for some things when you send just a few spiders. 
Not your entire army, of course, that would be beating. Yeah, oh, the Shrek is gonna go down here as the ultimate is being popped by Sidoy and uh, Invoker, I mean, the killing of the Crystal Maiden, but Broodmother taking on the Shrek where I was looking. And yeah. Invoker killing the Crystal Maiden, where did that happen? Wow, this this Windrunner is looking for looking at pretty good farm as well. Radiant she has mana power. boots and 1.4k, and uh, she has her headdress as well. So she can go for an early mecha. She's not too far off. She has 64 last hits, while Antimage only has 43. Yeah, she's doing really awesomely, and that's against the Lich lane. So, insanely well played. Yeah, Refuge going off in the meantime in the middle lane, where Invoker took a dive towards the Nature's Prophet right click, but... Yeah. Nice play right now, and all top lane, you are a bit out of position, he could Ooh, perhaps go down. Way. We'll see, no lucky bounces for you. No, Damn. indeed. He's gonna be able to get away, Dust is still on there though, but he is so fast, they're not gonna be able to catch up with him, and the Dust runs out and he's just gonna sit and there. And is there gonna lane? be a blind burst strike? Oh, misses him. Yeah, nice try. and middle lane is being pressured so much. Um, and uh, Quick's going in, but he's alone. Backup is taking some time, now Pino is here. Yes, it's ulti. Yeah, he's gonna drop. Epitenter is gonna make sure Titan drops too, though. Yeah, and they're gonna TP and defend this, so quite a commitment by. Um, Ooh, yeah, wow. Major Prophet actually being able to stay alive there. Only one running still is Crystal Maiden. Or, uh. Sunshine is gonna go down somewhere. Kills up. Yeah, Crystal Maiden is gonna go down. Earn charge, making sure the hub that happens. Double so triple tanking. Many kills for this sanking. Yeah. <laughs> Like, the rest of C Nation is looking pretty good, and they're shutting down the Invoker very well, and uh, killing Quicks a lot, but they're three heroes who have not died a single time. That's Lich, and that's anti and that's Sanking. So, Sanking is doing a good job right yeah. now. Five for zero. Five out of the nine kills are going towards Sanking. Juking the power shot, like a boss, just going down there. It's no Could rush to get home. There's just the Furion with his global T and stuff. There's nothing to be afraid of. And, um... Yeah. What they do have going for them though in oh he's actually okay, it will be Windrunner going for the for the pipe, I guess. And Tidehunter, you are going for Mecha. Okay. Switching it around a little bit. Indeed. Oh, that that's surprising. That works because Tidehunter needs some armor. That's uh, it it kinda works out nicely. Um Mecha does up. give you nice armor value, and if he goes for mana boots as well, then he will have no issue casting all those spells. Invoker, you are the target, but oh, Tide, you got revealed. And this oh, gang. Good. Will there be a shackle shot though? Uh, yeah, there's gonna be uh, yeah, there's gonna be trees from the invoker from the sorry from the nature prophet. We're trying to get taken the last hit with the power shot as. Uh, Wow, Titan is still dying, his last goes to the creep actually. And Nature's Prophet trying to juke it away in the, ta in the tower, TPing away won't work anymore. Lich takes the last hit, double kill for the Windrunner in the meantime, killing off a Lich. First strike is gonna happen, and uh, two heroes though. And at least Windrunner is gonna die here too, just like uh, Crystal Maiden drops four down for D Nation. Lich and Invoker, yeah, they, they sacrificed four heroes inside tower, tier two tower range, and now buybacking? Oh, Making sure that's... the tower doesn't go down, but. I don't know. Mm, that uh, bit of a rage buyback, I would say. There's no point in buybacking here. It's the buybacks are not that ex uh, that cheap anymore. Sure, it's just 440 gold, but he also only got 150 gold, and he had to pay for his TP anyway. So yeah, and, and there wasn't. I mean, it, it's not that long that you you're dead for. Yeah, the tower definitely didn't look like it was going down no. or anything. But uh, it could have been a good choice shutting down. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't choke. Yeah, uh, my <laughs> voice is kind of bad today. I've been running two times today, so I, uh, I don't know. It's just, it's just really hot in Sweden today. Yeah, same here actually. Yeah, so uh, I'm not too used to the temperature when I'm running now. Uh, Kill on the sanking. Messed me up a bit. Uh, yeah. Matter. Kill on the sanking. Spawns Vitalings doing the job there for Broodmother. In the meantime, Nika taking a tower in the middle lane. So a trade off. Hmm. And actually, when I was I was gonna point out the gold graph a while ago uh, when it was still around zero, because it looked yeah. funny, because uh, it was around zero. But now it's not around zero anymore. It's not as funny. But yeah. it's 2k ahead now for the nation. Figured I'd mention that anyway. X XP though is really close to zero. So. Oh yay! Despite, yeah, despite being 10 for 13 kills, which is pretty even, uh, the experience is really even. Um, mainly, I feel because this Furin is farming a lot in the woods. And he's going for Aghanims. 
is not the most typical item choice, but some players like it. Yeah, ooh, hello, Crystal Main, back for some main. No, Titan Hunter in a lot of trouble, gets caught Nap. Still tries to do a bit of damage before he goes down, because he will go down. Last hit goes to the Invoker. Mm, two nice kills there coming in for Kada. Yeah. Uh, and that's mainly just Leshrac doing the work there. Uh, he got in so close to the Crystal Maiden and just bursted her down instantly. And Tide has no ulti as well, then he can just stay close to him, no problem. So. Very easy, and they're gonna try and spend their time now going on bottom lane. Meanwhile, Tide is dead for a short while, but they, they should try and defend this tower. Yeah, they will. And top lane, they're looking for a kill, and hello, silence. Oh, but he does get out. Get out. Yeah, it was mm, a bit of an early go by Blue Mother. And wow, they kill Windrunner. In the meantime, Windrunner goes down. Did land a good check or something still, but. Uh, goes down to the Invoker. Still no Tide ulti, it's the question if they are aware of this. I mean, 30 seconds, they probably know that it's up pretty soon. They, but uh, you never know the exact timing of it. The Shrek clearing down some, clearing off some towers. Yeah, they, they think it's up, they don't want to go for that. They, they play very safe here, so they don't want to risk anything. Top lane, do they have a dust or anything? No, they're just gonna attack anyway. Yeah, I'm uh, gonna go away after the TP's gonna this come This is dangerous for Furion. Yeah, we'll be, he will be able to TP out, but Bursa <laughs> came in too late. Uh, a bit slow reactions by Pino, I think he saw him actually in time to stun. Yeah. Uh, oh. The farm is going up now for both Leshrac and Sanking. Sanking closing up to his blink dagger and Leshrac closing up to whatever he wants. He should go for BKB though. Yeah, and the, the gold graph is also dropping towards zero again, so it, it's a very even game. Even though I thought at yeah. first that 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 uh, Kida game was gonna have that. Actually, do I pronounce it right? Because I just heard you say it differently. Uh, I just say like any Swede would say it. Uh, I don't even know the organization or anything, so. It's a, it's a Swedish oh, organization, oh. though. Yeah. So. I I don't know how they wanna say it. I think they say uh, Kita. Okay. Kita. But uh, I, th I think they are pretty, pretty uh, <laughs> open to any pronunciation. Yeah, and he's got to get ganked in the oh. bottom on the mid lane, indeed. <laughs> Sorry. He does have his battle fury flying out now, so 20 minute battle fury power threats. Um, it's exactly the same as I had in the game against Moscow Five, where they went for hard push. I believe I had uh, the exact same farm. <laughs> Which is a late battle fury, it should be mentioned. When you. Wall Eater is not feeling farmed at this point. He's feeling under farmed and a bit incapable of doing anything. Uh, <laughs> so. He wants nice. to get up his uh, his Manta now as soon as possible so he can kill off the Furion, like no problem. And things like that. Oh, Just Crystal Maiden. Yeah. Free kill for Nika here. Yeah. Tide Hunter coming in too late, wants to I do his Rapid though. Gonna get a sunset, gonna get a stun. Field man she doesn't do his rabbit, actually catches three of Kida Gaming's heroes. Uh, Chainfrost is gonna go through, keep finishes off the Tide Hunter and finishes off the Wind Run, even though Invoker got the last hit. Double kill for Invoker as Nature Prophet is on the run. Sure. Gonna yeah. try to TP out, but TP is interrupted by the cold snap. Triple kill for Invoker. It's a massive feeding fest. It is uh, a feeding fest. It just ran in one by one, falling yeah. like. If all of them were there at the same time, they could probably have won that fight. But Tidehunter would throw his ulti when he had no one apart from Windrunner, I believe, near to help him out. And Windrunner ran. Uh, ran. Windrunner yeah. didn't stick around. No, okay. no, she bought back. Oh, uh, she, oh she bought back. I yeah, was gonna she's say. reaching pretty much. I was saying, early in this game, I remember I said, this Windrunner is really farmed. And now I look at her and I think this Windrunner is really under farm. Yeah. Um, uh, Checker shot doesn't <laughs> uh, Yeah, so never mind that. It's uh, <laughs> That's a Swedish thing. Okay. And uh, Pino is going to take a fall. Or is he not? There is no dust on the sand and the Brood Mother. Yeah, I she feel like he should. should be carrying that. Yeah, but when he can go in this, he can also stun away. So in most cases, if he stuns away, he will also blink away. Um, dust is not that important for him. It, it doesn't make too much of a difference. Well, if he got we, dusted, we've gotten a kill. Mm, no, not for sure. He had his bow strike, didn't he not? So instead of sandstorming, he could just as soon as she dusted, he would just stun her and then blink out. 
mid. It would be pretty pretty easy for him to do. He just chose to do this. And oh, wow, it's Why back. is he TPing it... back? Ah, Pinoy! What are you gonna do when he dies? <laughs> yeah, that was... Oh, wow. Uh, it, he didn't even have full HP and we see Invoker dying somewhere as well. Yeah, and actually uh, Nature's Prophet, who was on the top lane getting the last hit with his ultimate from that, who propped his ultimate only to help on a Sand King, I think. Wall Eater might be in a little bit of trouble, gets Silent, gets uh, ooh, ultimate from Sido is up, but Silence will be up again soon, he will be able to blink away. There we go. Hmm. So, some nice kills after the big feeding fest. Um, they do pick off some good kills. And, and the uh, um, I mean, they have they have the farm enough and nice map control in C Nation to bring this game uh, to a win. And the wild gang on Wall Eater now, this is good before he gets his Manta. Silence there, but he blinks away again in time. Looks right there, Nova is on the Nature of Prophet is gonna drop her Lich in the last hit with a right click. Yeah, CM chooses not to go in. She sees that it's not gonna work. Antimage is on her, but he can't do anything against her alone. Uh, and and he's Crystal Maiden has a backup he's incoming. Oh, he's another silence. He dead. He, he dead. dead, indeed. Or is he? Yes, he is. Bruce Mulligan yeah. blasted. Even the Orchid damage comes out at the end, so uh, any damage he takes, you can count that he takes 25% more of that in the end. Yeah. Reduced oh. by... Thumbstrike! Oh, it wasn't Thumbstrike that got him and killed. But in the meantime, <laughs> Epicenter going up here, and the Tidehunter is gonna take a fall. Looks like taking, a, taking the last hit for that. Lich in the meantime also killing off the Crystal Main. That was four dead, and I was only following the Invoker. What the hell? Again, all of them choose just to die. If they just, uh, just can control how much they overcommit, I feel the Radiant team are playing much better than uh, Kata. But th they just recently gave away a five-man feed and now four of them die as well. Then it doesn't even matter that they killed Antimage. That's not gonna make that big of a difference. I expect the XP graph being way down to Kata game. Um, Yes. Aiming's advantage. You and uh, we see Invoker trying for a solo kill on uh, Furin. He might get it. Yeah, looking pretty <laughs> pretty annoying for Furin here. He can't do anything. <laughs> oh, wow. I wasn't there. Yeah. Yeah. He tried to cast Sprout on himself uh, five times, but guess what? It didn't work the first time and it didn't work the fifth time. So. Oh. Um, Poor Furin. Yeah, not much to do. Uh, oh. Invoker is really dangerous against Furin if he catches him out, especially when he chose to go for. One of the most dangerous item builds he can go for. Aghanims is not gonna help you in any case at all. Four staff, then he could have lived, and a Guinsu build, then he could have lived. But Aghanims yeah. is good for global pressure and uh, help. Farm, out. farm, farm. They do see this Evoker though, and he's standing in a weird spot. Um, yeah. Antimate's nearby, but he doesn't want to help. He's like, no, farm. <laughs> need more, need more gold. Yeah, yeah actually, uh, got up his flats. Not gonna go for an, uh, or didn't go for a mental stall yet. It's a good choice, I believe, because he needs jungle so much now. He can't stay on lane because Broodmother and Furion, even a surprise Windrunner gang could be so devastating for him. Uh, but this is a good choice. Windrunner getting uh, pretty focused down. Nice kill. And then I was gonna meet them on the top lane where there was a smoke up and Broodmother is gonna take a fall. There's gonna be dust. BKB is there. Why aren't you TPing? Because you don't have a TP scroll. Nah, no, he's pretty safe. If he can just run around, he has a big web. Yeah, he has a big web. And uh, there's no gem, so he's no. just running around his big house and uh, feeling pretty safe. And he's gonna try for a kill on uh, Bonsai now, who's very out of position. Yeah, we'll uh, be able to TP out, I think, though, yeah. In the meantime, Crystal Main dies again, Antimage takes a kill on that. Tower on bottom lane as well, after those two kills now for Antimage. First Windrunner and now Crystal Maiden. Well, what's going on? Top. Um, yeah, there's just kills everywhere. There's kills oh, everywhere. Hmm. Sanky getting a kill on the, on the Broodmother on the top lane, who was so Radiant's safe earlier, but not safe yeah. enough. Well, not anymore, and now this is very quickly falling out of hands for C Nation, and the panic that they are experiencing uh, with Antmage going out of hands in control, like his farm is just too high. Yeah. Uh, they're gonna get a panic to finish the game quickly, and that's just gonna make for more bad decisions. It's usually the reaction. You stress team fights and you clump up and move like predictable monkeys, so that's what most teams will do. Um, and that that means Antmage can just farm everywhere and TP when he has to. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They they've been losing. I mean, they've been 
giving away free kills, it feels like. The, yeah, they want to the kill panic. Ja they I mean, want to kill Roshan the next time they make a mistake. Next time see Nation throw away a team fight. Oh, like that. bye, Crystal Maiden. What were you doing there? The Furion is just getting chased down by Antimage. Uh, it's gonna take a fall. There, there is a funny yeah. fact to this, to this little gang. Yeah. Uh, he didn't choose to TP because Antimage can abort it with his ulti. But little did he know that Antimage had no mana for his ulti. So. Um, he did use his ulti in the end, though. Yeah, he had mana in the end. Ah, just okay. He was regenerating and switching to int threats, and then uh, he had. So right after the first blink of animation, he should just click TP. But things like that, almost impossible to know. You have to check the mana pool, and well, it's not always your first reaction when you find a surprise animation. No, woods. your first reaction is to run. Yeah, and <laughs> then you run some more, and yeah, then then he died. Uh, oh, Winterrunner will be able to get away from this. Get the like, nice check shot to uh, make sure that indeed she is gonna get away from that. Crystal yeah. Maiden though, she's like walking around being gold with feet. Yeah, definitely Crystal Maiden is not having the game of his life. This is pretty boring, he's gonna erase this in his game history if he could. Yeah. And bottom lane looking for a kill now on Crystal oh, Maiden. Oh, walking Crystal Maiden. Gold. <laughs> and nice check uh, shot. Yeah, very good. And uh, she might just live because of this. Uh, there's no tornado to follow up. Uh, if they had a longer range tornado, they only have three levels on Vex. If it was longer range, they would just initiate with it and follow up with Chain uh, chain Frost from Lich. Middle lane, Tide wants to kill this Lich Rack. We'll so have a gush in four seconds. We use this Ravage for it, gets a kill. Doesn't get a kill yet, stun lands on the Tide Hunter. And Edic is gonna make sure he's gonna. Oh, Tidehunter, what are you doing? Power shot will finish off the, the Shrek, but Tidehunter in a lot of trouble. Nice shackle shot. Tissue Bot saving the day for Tidehunter. He could still die. He has no mana. Oh, he get mana boots. Yeah, he he could oh. still have that on oh, nice pipe. Oh, now okay. Jayfrost make sure that he dies. And uh, Winter are gonna take a stack of that too, but we'll be fine. Or at least would have been fine if Enemy is not a well, link. What so are you doing? Angry. What is he doing? <laughs> well, this is Swedish Rage, uh, well, what it did could be considered as a, like, oh, maneuver to the tower, but it was just Rage, trying okay. to kill. In the meantime, Epicenter on the top lane, even though the BKB is popped by Cedroy, only Epicenter damage is gonna go on to the Nature's Prophet and he's gonna be in a Sandstorm for a while, so doesn't get any kills with that. But stops the pushing from happening. C Nation are doing a good trying to get kills, uh, kills and tower push on top lane because that's the easiest thing they can do right now is just try and focus that. I'm not yeah. saying that it is easy, but everything else would be really hard. Especially with An uh, Aegis on Antimage. Look at him. They throw down a combination on him, he blinks in, kills Crystal Man. Oh, yeah. so Crystal Man should have seen that coming though, I think. Yeah. I mean, she, yeah. she probably should. Um, there was no backup, so Crystal Maiden might be a bit lost for spirit in trying to get the Melka ward already up to 0 10. So, if we get another 30 minutes, that's but they have be a to win for that to happen. And they're 14 to 32, standing barely able to do TP out. Does Lashrak still manage to get a kill on the, on the next Robert? Nice invoker, Sunstrike, and double kill for Lashrak on the Brute Mother 2. Yeah. And mid lane just shackling the creeps, meanwhile they focus down the anti-mage. Nice ready, but it doesn't really work. Nope, uh, and Tidehunter is gonna take a fall to the anti-mage here. These, these ganks on anti-mage right now are not working out. They need to commit more heroes than two to kill him. And there's the GG call from the captain. Yep, and, and even the chicken being sent to death for... Uh, I don't know. I don't know why. Rage. Yeah, it, it probably did something bad. We see Crystal Man. Oh, Crystal Man might get a kill. No, kill she, she would did. She lives. She no, she will die. But yeah, For she did. Now she, uh, she did kill him. Sunstrike. Oh, oh, early Sunstrike, but yeah, and we're still getting the kill. Crystal Maiden, all the win, and sad smileys. Poor Crystal Maiden. She did so good with the Malk Award, but his team chose not to win the game. So. What a frozen waste. Um, with his uh, chain frost, always fun. Everybody yeah. left the game, I guess now. Yeah, we're just waiting for the throne to explode. Uh, <laughs> ancient, rather. Yeah. And was this the the second game? Yeah, it was, wasn't it? It was the only game. There's only one. Game. Oh, this is non-pro. This is non-pro pro Dota 2. That's so controversial. I know. <laughs> pro Dota 2. 
Dude, say every what? time I say that, someone says like, "What?" <laughs> Welcome here to a non-pro pro uh, too. Yeah. What's up? Um. So yeah, nice. And they are doing pr quite well in it. I believe they have two losses, right? Yeah, and they, they are on top. I believe. I've, yeah, it's like them and next KZ and MTW. MTW, MTW yeah. are looking really strong as well in it. So. Uh, Definitely. Yeah, doing well in the in the non-pro league. Indeed. So uh, thank you. Do you want to have any shoutouts again? Uh, no, this time I will just save it. I, I'm saving my shoutout for a better day. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I'm, you know, I can't, I can't shout with this voice. It's just that's too. That's true, because it's hot weather. It's yeah, hot weather. I blame that. Or, or a weak throat. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blame it on that one. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, guys, <laughs> thanks for watching. So uh, see you guys indeed. another time. Indeed. And uh, yeah, thanks for co-casting.